let's finish this up with Lewis. Uh, acids and bases. Let's finish this up. Uh, real quick review. We should have learned that Arrhenius dealt with water as the solvent. And he was really looking for uh, the concentration of hydrogen and hydroxide. How much is in there? How much... How much hydrogen is in that solution? Um, and then Bronsted Lowry or Brolo um, is a, a solution sometimes in water. And he's still looking for the concentration here, but he basically, uh, you're texting me right now, Lily, but he basically is uh, using, uh, what if it's outside of water? What if it's in ammonia or methanol or something like that? Uh, instead of water and he found out that it would work anyway hydrogen uh, concentration or hydroxide concentration would um, increase even outside of the water solution but he did use water a lot you should have also learned the auto ionization of water principle which means uh, which is so important for these two by the way because water is the universal solvent a lot of water is used so the auto ionization of water it goes like this um, equilibrium a, a reaction 2h2o uh, will go to h3o plus and oh minus and then back and then back so water is naturally doing that all the time so you should have learned that now let's jump into lewis acids and bases the definition of a lewis acid acid is a, a, a anything anything that anything let's do this anything that will accept electrons okay uh and then uh the base which be careful about this because this gets a little confusing because we think about an acid being strong and eat away and something that would be like giving electrons away um, but if you think about it naturally electrons are electrifying electrolytes uh, so an acid would be something that gains that electricity, gains that energy, because it is less, it's, it's less pH, uh, which we'll get into in, in a little bit, but less pH, uh, so it makes it more acidic. So a base is going to be anything, anything that donates, donates those electrons, anything that donates those electrons that blue that way you got it Boom. blue so these are the simple definitions an acid is anything that will accept electrons uh, a base is anything that donates electrons uh, and Lewis basically went after this because he was like okay so uh, you got it in water uh, and then uh, you've got it in basically uh, just a solution, aqueous solution, sometimes water. That's my son, he's playing video games, aqueous. Uh, but he's like, what if there's no solution involved at all? And that's why uh, Lewis, who did the Lewis dot, Lewis dot, uh, realized that if a substance gains electrons, it behaves with uh, a fair amount of acidity. So let's uh, look at some examples of some Lewis or Lewis acids. Uh, first of all, let me say that some, um, let's say common, common Lewis bases, Lewis acids are going to be um, borane, BH3, uh, aluminum chloride, aluminum chloride, CO3. Why does it have a three on chlorine? Because of charges. Uh, anyway, plus three for aluminum, negative one for chlorine, so it's going to need to balance out. So aluminum chloride is a uh, common acid. Uh, iron, th iron three, Fe, uh, Br three, Br three, iron three bromide, and then uh, obviously uh, our famous hydrogen. So these are common uh, acids common acids inside of uh, Lewis's definition. And the bases are kind of like all over the place. 
Um, but you don't really need to know that right now. So um, let's let's just let me show you an example of what I mean by outside of solution based on these Lewis dot structures. So let's take a generic example real quick. Let's make this purple. Ready? Purple. Nice. So say, for example, you got a generic um, generic element here or substance or molecule. Let's put some electrons around it. Now we're do getting into the Lewis Lewis dots, okay? And we're going to make these big right here in blue, okay? So you've got this generic, and then over here we're going to use, uh, I spelled borane wrong, but um, I'll put the E there. Uh, we're going to use borane, okay, because I got it written there and it's right in my face. So let's go with borane. Let's go back to our purple just because I want to keep it like that. So we got borane um, on the outside, uh, bromine on the outside of bromine, bromine, right? And then let's do uh, your iron three in here, bromide. Oh, dang, I'm using the wrong one. My bad. Uh, let's do, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm using the right one, but I'm saying the wrong names. So let's go with iron in the middle, F-E. Okay, so let's bond these up. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, and you know most uh, electrons or most atoms want eight. So we have iron getting two, four, six. Um, it generally could work out. You know, it wouldn't be right. So we'd have to do some maneuvering. But what, what's happening here now is that this element is going to attack. Boom. Attack this iron and give it its electrons. Uh, and so this is going to be our base, and this is going to be our acid, okay? Does that make sense? Let's do uh, a couple more of those, if you will. So let's do um, some, just some outside of, uh, outside of just um, water or any solution. So let's do, um, let's do C. Let's do carbon in the middle. Let's do carbon. And let's put some CH3. Now, obviously, simplified. CH3, CH3. Um, and let's put... Let's do a carbon there. CH3C. So we've got that carbon wow. there. So this is a plus. A plus. Now, let's do um, OH. And let's just see how this works. Okay, so you got OH, OH2. And let's put some electrons. Uh, and so what's gonna happen here is carbon, one, two, three, any substance that can accept electrons is an acid. So it's gonna take these, boom, boom. Now it's accepted, so this is going to be our Lewis acid because it accepted electrons. This is going to be our base. Now uh, OH is still involved here, uh, and so that's going to be um, that's going to be a base in in general anyway. So let's do another one. Let's do NH three. Um, let's do NH. Uh, H3, NH3, and let's do plus um, BF3, BF3, F3. Uh, and if you notice that uh, hydrogen or nitrogen uh, has some electrons, if you just if you just drew it out real quick, has some nitrogen, uh, some electrons right there that it can donate, boom to this. So it makes a bond. Remember we just discussed um, electron transfer here a little while ago with what with what did we talk about redox reactions? So there's a transfer of electrons going over here, and there is a bond happening, a bond happening here. So anything that can accept electrons, and, and uh, boron could obviously accept some electrons there. So that would make this our uh, Lewis, bay, Lewis acid. Lewis acid. And remember, NH3 is a very common base. 
So this is going to be our Lewis base. This would also be um, a bronze at Lowry base as well as an Arrhenius base. But then you get this BF right here, and BF3 is usually not considered uh, an acid or a base inside of Arrhenius or um, bronze at Lowry. But, uh, and if you linked all them up, you would see that this is like that um, with the bond in between here. So it accepted its electrons. Um, let's do another one because this is pretty, pretty interesting. Let's do uh, water. So let's put some hydrogens out here. Put some more electrons here. Now I know this isn't bent, uh, but for our sake, it's going to work. Okay. Uh, then we're going to put our little plus in here and we're going to do some CO2. Is that cool? CO2? Even if it's not, that's what we're going to do. C uh, and then O, O, 2. Uh, but the problem is, is we're going to need to double bond this. Boom. Um, now, uh, you would think that everything's pretty cool here and it is cool, but... Um, water has some electrons it can donate, and I might have been saying protons up here in the in the middle because it's so easy to mix, miss up. That's what I'm telling you. Make sure you're careful. But uh, water's got some electrons it can donate, so uh, it will donate these boom to the carbon, right? So carbon CO2 accepts these. Um, electrons and that's going to yield for us and this is going to be an equilibrium reaction just, just looking at it, it's going to be an equilibrium reaction sorry about that uh, and what that's going to yield for us is going to be um h uh, let's do do h uh, o h with uh its electrons here still uh, but then it's going to be bonded to uh, C. Uh, and then a double bond is going to go here. Oh, and then a single bond, because we've used it over here, we've accepted these electrons. This becomes our, our uh, bond over here. And so we see that this is going to be our um, Bronsted lowry um, anything that uh, will donate. Uh, electrons is going to be the base and anything that accepts the is going to be the acid now what this does is it kind of breaks open this idea that anything like has to be you know in water even though this was in water it breaks up in that idea and it says anything that will accept electrons is acidic in nature anything that gives away electrons is basic in nature and so it's dealing with electron transfer that's why oxidation reductions are acidic in nature acidic nature ox redox reactions are acidic in nature uh, batteries battery acid which is uh, the concept of redox is energy so that's why you got that um, so it's the electron transfer so when we're doing redox reactions notice just put that in your mind that it is still dealing with uh, acid base reactions as well. So uh, that is our definitions. And so you should have learned uh, Arrhenius water, uh, Bronsted Lowry solution, and Lewis electron transfer. Electron transfer. And you should have learned that water can self-ionize naturally. Uh, and that plays a huge role in Arrhenius and Bronsted-Lowry uh, definitions because water is uh, amphoteric, amphoteric, which means that it can act like an acid at times and a base at times. And you see that in the uh, 2H2O will yield equally, boom, boom, uh, H3O plus, plus OH minus. And this is going to have a 
concentration of hydrogen at 10 to the negative 7. Uh, and it's going to have a pH, which is going to equal the negative log of 10 uh, to the negative 7th. There you go. So uh, that's the concentration of the hydronium ion. That's what you should have learned. Uh, and if you have any questions, just hit me up. I did this just to keep us moving forward and to give us something to uh, keep our conversations going. Anyway. Thank you.